All right, what's up guys? Look at this. Fully open up here. What's up, Super Carblondi here in Malibu. I'm here with Todd, he's from GM Design. Cheers Todd, Hello. thanks very much for that drive. Out from Detroit. Now, let me show you around what we have. This is super exciting. This is the brand new fully electric Hummer. First time in 12 years that Hummer has come out with a brand new Hummer. <laughs> this is the Hummer EV SUV version and this is a pre-production car. So I've got my hands on something super, super special here because this right here is only going to be out on the roads in 2024. So this is a super, super sneak preview of what is going to be out on the roads in just a few years time. Right. The coolest stuff. Let's get straight to it. I think this rocks. Look what happens when you walk up to the car. All right, ready? Look, it recognizes you walking up and you've got this whole light bar that runs all the way across the front of the car. I love that. You often see like one continuous light bar on the back of cars. Like for example, you see it in a Chiron, a Bugatti Chiron, that one light bar. I mean, in so many cars now, but very, very few. In fact, I'm not sure I can even think of one car right now that has a full light bar across the front. A lot of the times you can see the charge status inside the car on the dash in front of you. So you actually have to get in the car to see whether or not the car is fully charged. But with this car, it's right here in the headlights. Look at this, I love this. So it'll show you each bar of charge. So as soon as this goes all the way across in blue, you know you have a fully charged vehicle. And one charge, one full charge will get you over 560 kilometers or over 350 miles. What is also cool right here, you notice that this is fully open. Okay, now this has sky panels. That's Ooh, what they call like them. Jurassic Park. Alright, we're all fully prepped for a Jurassic Park moment. I hope it doesn't happen though. Alright, come over here. Now you've got three buttons down here. And they're a little bit rubbery. They feel a bit rubbery. It's nice to the touch. Look what happens in the front. Of course you have no engine in this car so now you have all of this room here in the front for storage and what you can do is see here this is one of the glass panels for the roof so if you want to take everything off and have it fully open like this you can actually stack the glass panels here in the front very neatly and nicely so that's just an example of one here now of course this is pre-production so when it actually comes out it's going to have beautiful little dividers here so that when you're off-road the glass isn't just going to clang together if you don't have have your glass panels stored in here then of course you have a massive space here for other storage and what I think is really cool about this car is it has so much power that it can actually be used as a generator so if you take this off-roading for camping or whatever else you can actually plug in a mini fridge or a hairdryer or just so many different appliances and use the battery power from the car to power those devices which is really cool a 35 inch wheels look at this and it can actually have the up to 37 inch. So you don't need to do anything to the car. You just pop on 37 inch tires and that's just insane. You see this right here? This is actually extra air suspension. So this whole car can be lifted here in the front by six inches or 15 centimeters. So it gives you a little bit more room when you're going over that extra rocky terrain. This right here is going to have about a thousand horsepower in a Hummer. 
Isn't that absolutely insane? They're available in various editions. The first edition is going to have three electric motors and have about a thousand horsepower. And then if you get the more like entry level model, it's gonna come with two electric motors and have a little bit less power. But this right here is your first edition model that's gonna come out in a couple of years time with a thousand horsepower, which is just insane. How fast is it gonna go? I can't believe this. For a truck this size, zero to a hundred in just over three seconds three seconds that's as quick as a lamborghini hurricane performante like a small low to the ground supercar does zero to 103 seconds and then you've got this beast of a vehicle that's going to power you from zero to 100 in just three seconds as well which is just insane i cannot wait to see this actually come to life the color of this car is actually called Moonshot Green Matte. I'm feeling it. I actually really, really like this color. Now, come over here with me. You might notice something down here, right here. Think, what in the world is this? It's a map. And it's not just any map. This is the Sea of Tranquility. This is where we first landed on the moon. And right here, there's a little boot. And that is Neil Armstrong's boot. <laughs> Why have they got this on the car? Because they actually tested this car on the moon. When did they test it? They didn't. But just, just run with the story. The reason why they have this here is because they're like, right, if we're gonna make a fully electric car, we wanna make it look out of this world. Nice. <laughs> Basically like they've got lunar inspiration, so moon inspiration. So it's meant to look kind of like spaceshipy and cool. Like if, if you were to look at this car, you go, yeah, yeah, this looks like a space rover. This is cool. So you've got this map in various places around the car and you're gonna find it right here as well. I love these. Uh, rear tail lights. This is actually the H. The Hummer. Look, kind of if you turn this on the side, it'll have the same same shape. Right here is just your little boot open button. Press that. And then if you keep, keep it held, it will actually go all the way out for you. In here, look, you've got the same map. That's quite a nice little touch, isn't it? Because it's a talking point. When you have your friends get in the car or they throw their stuff in the back to go camping, and they're like, what in the world is this? You're like, oh, well, it's made for the moon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you've got this new Hummer EV SUV, and then you've also got this brand new Hummer EV, and this is a pickup truck. We're gonna go over there in just a moment and have a look at that car as well. So stay tuned, that's gonna be later on in the video. It's incredible to actually have both of them out here at the same time. We're super thankful to GMC here for bringing both of these out for our channel. Make sure you like the vid, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family, because this is where we get to see the coolest cars. All right, you've got your ports here. So this is, for example, you would plug in your trailer or your fridge or whatever else that you want to plug in. And that's going to take the charge from the batteries to power whatever you want to plug in there. Around here, you've actually got a hidden US flag. So it's just all of these little details that I like that they've thought of that aren't in your face. You need to kind of discover them as you go around the car. And also what is really cool is right here. Now I've never seen this on a car before and I'm not really sure of the purpose behind it, but it's just a little bit of a heart got you, a bit of a joke. Underneath here, you will see a little thumbs up like this, all right? Now you go, well, why in the world would that be there? Well, if the car's standing upright, you've got a thumb upright like this. Yep, everything's good. But if the car flips over and it lands on its head, you're gonna have thumbs down and that's when you got problems. So you may flip the car and not even realize you flipped the car. You get out, you look and you check to see whether you've got the thumbs down. Then you're like, ah, shit, I flipped the car. <laughs> Over here. You know how rose gold is becoming fashionable in cars? They, they've not gone for rose gold. They've gone for kind of a bronzy look, which I really like in this car. It really suits this, this, this interior color as well. Now you've actually got 
24 different cameras around this car. 24. So you're going to have cameras underneath you, cameras in the front, cameras out the back, the side, so you can see everything around you. And what's cool is because this is made for off-roading, if those cameras get dirty underneath, then they self-spray. So they've got little sprays on them so that they get cleaned off and so you're never going to have like a, a, a dirty vision. Come on in, you hop in the driver's seat and I'll show you what's going on inside. All right, now there's some other really cool things happening here. I These guys, these guys have a good sense of humor. I'm going to give you another example. This car has launch control, but it's not actually called launch control. It's called WTF mode. WTF, which stands for what's to freedom. I just love that they have, <laughs> which is basically what you would yell as you put your foot down on the accelerator, you'd be like <laughs> And that is why it's called WTF mode, which is really cool. Now, in order to get that on you, this is all controlled through this display. This is a 13.4 inch display diagonally. And because this is a pre-production model, we can't actually go through all of the features here on screen, but all of this will be touch screen. It's just got a running animation at the moment, but we can, for example, press this. Is, this is what it's gonna look like to heat and cool your seat. So you can press that here. You know, some of these do things, actually, you can kind of get a feel for how this is going to work, which is quite nice. This is not open, but this is gonna be a nice big uh, storage area here in the middle. And the other cool thing is, this is the second car only that I have been around that has a crab walk function. I have seen another car that has a crab walk function, which is crazy, but that one was never gonna come to market. This is gonna come to market, and all four wheels will be able to turn in the same direction so that you can crab walk in one direction with this car, which is so cool. This car isn't really geared towards me personally as a consumer, but I can see why this right here, when it came out, was sold out in just 10 minutes time. You've got a safari style feel in the back with it all open, which is really nice. And you've got quite a bit of room actually as well. You're hugged in these seats. See how they go down? So they hug you nicely in the back as well. This is gonna fold out when it's actually in production. So you'll have somewhere nice there to put your arm. You've got some controls here for the back, for the passengers. You've got USB, uh, temperature, and of course you've got more moon maps. Cause that's what every car is missing these days, is a map of the moon. All right, now over here, we have the brand new Hummer EV pickup truck. And pretty much everything works exactly the same way as I've just shown you in the SUV. So the front lights up the same way as you walk up to it. Of course, this is where it all is different basically. So you can open this up. Now what's cool about this is there's a button right here that you push to lower this, okay? And then it actually lowers even further. We've got two more steps. So this right here, let me just, that all right now even one more step right here with this red button here we go here we go here we go here we go <laughs> nice little step for you <laughs> there you go you can step up easily into the back and you've got tons of space here in the back to load whatever you'd like in this car you've not only got the uh tray back you've also got these sky panels that come out as well so this can also be like a safari car which is really cool and that's it you guys I hope you liked that overview of these brand new fully electric hummers that are coming out. This one is gonna go into production at the end of this year. So this is gonna be up on the streets really, really soon. That one in a couple of years time. Uh, that's it. A massive thank you to GMC for arranging these two beautiful cars for the Supercar Blondie channel today here in Malibu. We've had a fantastic time. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like it, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys somewhere else in the world. Love ya. Bye, we're out.